everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. tools. I've got calligraphy homework. Well, just ask your sisters for hers. You don't need to get a whole new set. Really? I'm just using hand-me-downs again? That's right. One calligraphy set is more than enough to get it done. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is funny. So basically, hand-me-downs are my life. How it makes me laugh. The youngest daughter, the beautiful Flora, was always wearing hand-me-downs from her big sister. She's cleaning the house as usual, per the orders of her stepmother. Oh, poor beautiful Flora. Her older sister used to wear the clothes she's wearing now. I envy her. She's always the princess with new things. I'm Flora, and I'm a servant with hand-me-downs always. My only friends are the small animals in the forest. The only pleasure for me is the weekly dance I get to have with my forest friends. Something good will happen soon. So cheer up, Flora. Do you want to tell me just what you're doing? I was my friends in the forest. Huh? Your friends? The forest? Uh, I mean, my name is Flora, and my friends in the forest are just perfect. I got a bit carried away with my fantasy. How am I supposed to explain to my mom about my friends in the forest? Why are you suddenly named Flora? Tell me about your friends in the forest. I bet you won't even get it if I try. Things like friends in forests... Leave me alone! Uh, Maruko! All this makes me wonder. Does she have any real friends? Hey, sis, can I use your calligraphy set? I've got homework to do. Yeah, the set is under my desk. And don't mess it up. Hey, what are you reading? Can I see? Be quiet. Leave me alone, will ya? Get on with your calligraphy homework. Oh. Now, sister! Huh? Please, be nice to Maruko, okay? Maruko, your mother and sister are always here if you need us. Come to us with any problem. I have an idea. Why don't you help Maruko with her first calligraphy homework of the year? When did you start paying special attention to her? I won't help her. <laughs> she should learn to do her homework by herself. Listen to me very carefully, sister. What are you going to do if Maruko gets closer to all her friends in the forest? She's still talking about that. What's this about? You're not hanging around with anybody weird, are you? Anyway, look, I'm counting on you, sister. All right, Mom, if it makes you happy, I guess I'll do it. Who'd have thought friends in forest would drag on like this? What, what are we? we? Explain. Uh, I must say, I'm a bit nervous. Huh? Oh no, I wanted to write Otoshi Dama, but there's no room left now! <laughs> oh, so silly! You wrote Otoshi! What does that mean? <laughs> Ink 
on your face. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ink on your face? <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. How can you laugh so much? Stop it! Hey, stop! Look, you shouldn't mock her like that. Yeah. Right, sorry. I won't do it again. Uh Please, you need to be really careful. For some reason, she's acting quite strange today. I'm really worried. All right, I understand. I won't laugh at her again. My goodness! Wow, you've done a good job there. Really? Yeah! Splendid! I'm so impressed by your work! I'm impressed by how fake you sound. <laughs> she missed a dot for Tama. That says Otoshi King. Uh, Maruko, you forgot the dot for the character Tama. Oh, you're right. Oh, man. I can't laugh. I must not laugh at her. Uh, 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 Otoshi King. There we go, there there he goes again, a Toshi King dropping stuff all the time. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, Toshi King? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Hey, are you all right? <laughs> I can't breathe. I don't know what got you laughing so hard, but are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm fine. All good. Sorry, uh. I just... Uh. Hey. <laughs> oh my, every time I look at Morocco, Odoshi King appears there to attack me. <laughs> Cut it out, sis. <laughs> About the same time in the Hanawa residence, calligraphy is the weak point of Hanawa-kun. So then, everyone, let's work together to get the best result. Yes, yes sir! Would each of you please bring up your best work so I can take a look? Thank you. Time for me to make a decision. Uh. Hmm. Oh, how about Hayasaka, sir? No, I don't think this will do. It's a little too well written for a grade three student. You're right. It's hard to find a perfect fit, isn't it? Correct. Not too good, but not too poor. Just what a grade three student would do. Mm. Oh. What you've done is perfect, Tsuboi san. That's exactly how a grade three student would write. Sir, glad I could help. And that night at Maruko's home. Please stop crying. Here, where's the example? There was no example to start with. Unfortunately, I lost it at school. What? You you lost it? Well, that was brilliant, right? Wow, you're just hopeless. Uh, sister, don't give up on me like this. The bond between us is, is quite cold. Oh, what am I going to do now? Where are you, Grandpa? Please hey, Maruko! Uh, you need an example, right? So I thought I'd write one for you. Really? How thoughtful of you, Grandpa. That's amazing. You know, if I were president of a company, I swear I would surely headhunt you out to join my team. Come on. I mean, I'm good, but not that great. Yeah, okay. You don't need to be so modest. <laughs> Why don't you take a look at what I've done, see? You know, we're supposed to write Otoshi, Dama, and Hiragana, yes? Dama's the only Chinese character? Yeah, you know your stuff, Grandpa. And now I want to headhunt you even more. Right, take this out. He is the last person anyone would want to headhunt. Uh, what do I do? Isn't there any model I can copy? How silly of me. How very silly. Hey, I could use a New Year's gift envelope as an example. That's a good plan. Brilliant. Even an envelope for a New Year's gift can defeat me. <laughs> okay, I'll just move back here a bit, and then I... <sighs> it was hard.
hard copying the Dama character. I didn't expect that to be so. The next day. Wow. <laughs> Your calligraphy shows your character quite well. Is that so? You say writing shows a writer's character, right? Well, look at Yamada's over there. Oh, I guess so. No doubt that shows exactly who Yamada-kun is. <laughs> and take a look at Sakura's calligraphy. Huh? <clears throat> hey, what's going on? What's that? Oh, man, that's weird. You guys look like you're having fun over here. What's so funny, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing big. We're just wondering, what made you write Otumu on that? Finally, and quite contrary to Maruko and her job, Hanawa couldn't receive the silver prize for his work. But no one knows the truth behind all this, that Tsubo Yasuo-san, a 52-year-old servant of the Hanawa resident, should have received it. Maruko makes a fuss about hot dish. It's been cold for days. Yeah, I know. I heard we're having pot dish tonight. Yeah? Sounds great. What kind of pot dish is it? Well, I... I think she mentioned blowfish. What? Blowfish? That's incredible. Do you know how expensive that is? Very few people get the chance to eat that at home. In fact, I've never had it myself. And I have only ever heard about it from my father. That makes it all the more interesting. I heard we got some from a family acquaintance. Now I'm looking forward to eating a lot. Hiya. Uh. You're talking about blowfish, aren't you? My babies. Having it as a pot dish is good, but it's better as sashimi. Wow, sounds cool, <laughs> as expected. Hmm. Shiitake, enoki, and other mushrooms will add flavor to the pot dish. But in my house, we use matsutake. <laughs> Blowfish and matsutake. Uh, his pot dish must cost a fortune. You know, you were born under a lucky star. You must have done a lot of good in your previous life. Wow. Talk about an antique way of saying something. Not that I care, really. Well, I'll see ya. Oh, that's something, huh? Now I understand more why Migawa-san wants to marry him. Blowfish with any mushroom sounds tasty. What a treat. Yeah, it sounds awesome. I'm thrilled about eating some now. Fujiki-kun, didn't we hear that someone recently died from blowfish poisoning? Yeah, true. The headlines were in the paper. Huh? There was another story about someone getting poisoned by mushrooms, too. Right. That was in the newspaper as well. Oh. Maru-chan. Poison. Dead. There's no need to worry so much. At the same time, I can hardly ignore it. It's fine, because Hanawa-kun said he'd be eating the same as well. Hanawa-kun goes to fine restaurants, you know? And even at his home, he is a chef to cook everything for him. But at my home, it's my mom who's cooking. There's no hope for me. I'm home! Hey, Mom! Listen up! Something wrong? You sound upset. We should cancel tonight's pot dish. What? Why should we? Well, I heard that blowfish and mushrooms have poison in them. It seems that people have died from them. I'm scared, Mom. I don't want to die just yet. You silly girl. It's all right. You don't need to worry about poisoning from either one of them as long as they're cooked well. If no one had ever died from them, then I wouldn't worry at all. Our best bet is not to eat. Where's the blowfish? Huh? I'll get rid of it. Hold on. Hey, stop. <laughs> Enough! I told you it's not a problem. Why won't you believe me? Let go! I hate you! I'm worried about my family members' lives, but you're so greedy, you just want to ignore the risk and eat it anyway. You're selfish! <gasps> well, I see. Think what you want, just don't try anything. Okay, our relationship is a bit fragile right now. Amazing how a little thing like a pot dish can do that. A mother-daughter relationship is fragile. I know she will never understand me. Uh... That's it! Uh -huh.
stop protesting with some folk song. How sad it is. Uh... Wow, so many of them are highly poisonous. They're just as scary as those deadly cobras. Let's see what it says about mushrooms. <gasps> mushrooms are scary too. Oh, hey, sis. Look, if you want to live, you have to listen to what I say and obey. Go on, then. I advise you not to touch any food at tonight's dinner. Huh? Trust me, please. Knowing what's not in her head, she's probably freaking out about blowfish poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> That night at supper time. All right, time for pot dish. Let's eat and bring our desk beverage. Huh, I see. This is the poison pot then. Ha, don't ruin the moment like that. How many people have lost their lives over the years because of a dish like this? People won't learn from their mistakes. Enough! Stop ruining the special dinner mood. This famous tiger puffer fish comes straight out of Genkai Nada. It's the soul of any fisherman out there, and anyone who speaks ill of it doesn't deserve any of it. It's very rare to have a chance to eat blowfish, Maruko. Dig in, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But it's poisonous. Uh, Grandpa will take a bite first. <laughs> My grandpa, my favorite grandpa is gonna die. Foolish girl, useless. It's fine. Maruko was just worried about me. That's all. It's okay. Yeah, I was. I was just worried that Grandpa would lose his life. I had to do something or else. Thank you so much, Maruko. Grandpa's. <gasps> Grandpa's sparkling. That's awesome. Goodness, it's the first time someone has worried about me. So, no one has ever done that. I'm so grateful. So very grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful. My worrisome granddaughter tries to protect me. A haiku of Tremoso's mind. <laughs> See, everyone? Grandpa's crying in appreciation of what I just tried to do for him. You should all stop trying to eat blowfish and mushrooms right now. Follow Grandpa's example and live a long life. <laughs> Listen, you won't be able to persuade anyone else besides Grandpa. This is the world of grown-ups. Get what I'm saying? Sure, Grandpa's a grown-up and look what happened. Come on, Dad. You still don't get it, do you? You're the breadwinner in this family, understand? Ha! Yeah, you're wrong. I'm Hiroshi, not some breadwinner. Dad, if you die from blowfish poisoning, then my whole family is out in the cold. It's so cold, and I'm so hungry, too. All right, I'm going to eat now. I don't care what anyone else thinks. And don't try to interrupt me. Yeah, I'm with Dad. I can't keep up with Maruko's nonsense. Let's just eat. Yes, let's enjoy. Uh, bon appétit. What? You're going to eat too, Grandpa? You were in tears a minute ago. Are you telling me it was all an act? Uh, this is bad. My Maruko is beginning to lose faith in me. Y you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I can't believe how much of a glutton I'm being here. No, I can't. I won't eat a thing. You promise? Yes, I promise I'm not going to let you lose faith in me. Thanks. You're the only one who understands me, Grandpa. Oh, wow! Well, I didn't know blowfish could taste so good. It's nice. I bet Maruko and Grandpa would enjoy it, too. <laughs> Lovely! Wow! I'll never understand how someone could it. I wonder what Maruko's thinking now. I just wish she'd say, Grandpa, let's give it a shot. Grandpa, if you were to say, Maruko, let's try it right now, I'd be ready to join you. Look, why don't you both stop being so stubborn and just try it? Uh, I'm not being stubborn at all, Mom. I'm really not interested in it. You're kidding. I just ruined the greatest opportunity I'd ever get. Maruko hasn't changed her mind. I can see it clearly. Yes, I don't want any either. I'm over it. Blowfish. You don't know what you'll miss. You're being silly. Yeah, yeah I, I guess, guess we, we are, are foolish. Silly. Whoa, so good. Yes. Amazing. Incredibly tasty. I 
feel I should do something here. The blowfish is steadily disappearing from the pot. Why would I refuse to eat something they all find so good? Oh, I remember. Because it's poisonous. But everyone here looks fine to me. I know from my years of experience that blowfish is safe to eat as long as its poisonous part remains untouched. So why am I refusing to eat it despite knowing all of this? Oh, to keep Maruko's faith in me, that's why. But then, what does this faith mean to me? I, I want, want some. some. Those, Those three, three simple, simple words, words can, can relieve, relieve me of all, all the pain and agony, and agony I'm going, going through, through in an, an instant. instant. Oh, man, I ate a lot. I know, let's make rice porridge with the leftover soup. Maruko, shall we try some of the rice porridge? Sure, there's no more blowfish, so... The rice porridge is good, too. <laughs> yes, blowfish makes for some great broth. Even the leftover soup is delicious. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievably delicious. <laughs> Considering how good the leftover soup was. I wonder how tasty the actual blowfish was. The next day. Marichan, how was the blowfish last night? Was it delicious? <laughs> well, the thing is, I ate only a bit of rice porridge last night. Huh? But why? How come? The family had blowfish, and Marichan didn't even eat a bit of it. Why? What was... No way. Marachan. I'm so cold and I'm hungry as well. Marachan? Huh? This is gonna sound like a strange question. What's up? Marachan, tell me, were you adopted by your family? <coughs> Maruko was shocked to hear such an abrupt question from Tommy. Even Buddha couldn't have seen that a bluefish pot dish could have such a disturbing impact on her best friend. <coughs> Thank you. 